Here's a tip on how to cook the perfect roast chicken. I find a lot of people either overcook it or undercook it. When you overcook it, it gets really dry. And when it's undercooked, well, you shouldn't eat undercooked chicken. So first of all, the quality of the chicken is important when you can get a free range chicken. And if you're organized and have bought your chicken the day before baking it, what I always recommend is removing it from the pack, just placing it on a board or in a tray, and then allowing it to air dry. Also, pat it dry with some paper toweling. Moisture is the enemy for crispy golden skin, so patting it dry is really good too. But like I said, if you've got a bit more time, allow it to air dry in the fridge uncovered. Next step, before you bake it, preheat your oven to 180 degrees and bring your chicken out of the fridge at least one hour before baking it. And now what we need to do is just dress it with a little bit of olive oil, just like that. A good pinch of salt. Some pepper. I also season the bottom of my tray. So just a little bit of olive oil there and some salt and pepper. And now I love to create just a little bed or something just to lift the chicken up. So a whole bunch of time, I promise you, it's the best. It really gives the chicken a wonderful flavor and protects it from the heat too. So it gets a good even cooking. So all of that time, I've got one onion, I've just cut in half and I've left the skin on it. That can go down there. And one whole bulb of garlic. I'm just gonna cut it in half and that can also go in there. Now we just place our chicken on top of all of that, tuck in the little wings just behind the breast there. And this bakes for one hour and 20 minutes and you'll have the perfect chicken. Another quick tip, if you're doing a whole roast chicken dinner, I've got some delicious root vegetables here, such as kipfer potatoes, carrots and parsnip. I'm going to add them to the tray 45 minutes before the chicken is completely cooked with a touch of water. And that is it. Now that the chicken has come out of the oven, the most important thing is to allow it to rest for at least 20 minutes so those juices really go into the meat and create the most tender, succulent, juicy chicken. And that, for me, is the perfect way to roast a whole chook.